Welcome to the Rams Film Room, presented by PDS. I'm Mike Brohart. I'm joined today by CSU volleyball assistant volleyball coach, Drew Blackman. We're going to talk a little bit about your blocking schemes, which you're in charge of on game day. Um, at times, doesn't always work. You have to have your player prepare for a one-on-one -on -one situation. Can you kind of walk us through that and what your player is looking for at the net? Yeah, absolutely. So in this first one, you're going to see what just a great double block looks like when all of our scheming and everything works. The ball's out of system, and Kiersey has a good double block, and it's awesome because it works out for a point, right? But a lot of times the scheming actually doesn't work out in our favor because they can still set other places. Scheming is more for percentages versus absolutes, yeah. right? So in this next one, you're gonna see when a scheme doesn't work and we miss the block. So Katie is one-on-one -on -one, and a big thing when we're, when we're talking about being one-on-one -on -one is we have to make sure that our feet are established. So as Katie's coming in, she gets stuck inside and she has to drift to the line so she actually gets tooled on that ball. So if we watch it again, so she's stuck in here and that's what happens for a point for the other team. Whereas in the next situation is where Olivia, she sees that she, is, she doesn't have a middle in her zone, so she pops a little bit. So she gets ready to get to this line early with her feet, so that way she is prepared to block that zone all by herself. And it, this is what we call just a little swoop, so if we watch that again, Kiersey was able to fill. So Kiersey's able to fill in this gap, but Olivia still needs to take away a little point, and what that does is, when it doesn't count for a block, it still funnels the ball into our defense, where we want to play defense, instead of giving them all of the opportunities. When you get these one-on-one -on -one situations, like when Olivia's in that point, do you tell her to take away a certain sector of the court where a player can hit, to, like you talked about, where your defense is set up in the back row, so that your defense is set to get a dig? Right, so what we talk about in blocking is always taking away two shots. So if one hand is taking away my line shot, can I take away my seam with my inside hand? So meaning that I'm gonna take away at least a third of the back court once you get into the whole perimeter of the play for your defense. Okay. When we go back, we, we know that your two middles last year were phenomenal blockers, mm -hmm. but I think a lot of people get lost on the fact your setter, Katie, was a really good blocker. How does that help you as a coach set up your schemes knowing that she can really handle a one-on-one? -on -one? So could it Sasha, so could Olivia. Absolutely, so it really helps to just maintain our schemes that if we know they have a really great right side, um, that we are okay managing their outside mm -hmm. ball if we're really trying to stop that right side attack that's just a heavy hitting arm. The fourth one is where we have a true swoop. So this is when Kirsty, where she's gonna be over scheming for this middle right here. So basically what we're saying is that the middle is the most important person in their offense at this point. And so Olivia is gonna be all alone for this outside ball. So you can go ahead and play it. So she does a good job establishing her feet outside and really this ball dies inside and so she establishes her feet but then is able to jump back in to that cross court shot. So she takes away two balls at the same time. We're noticing there, I know a lot of people think sometimes when you're blocking, you're talking about a double block. Both mm -hmm. players have to be like shoulder to shoulder. In that instance, spacing is really what helped. Olivia forced her one way and Kirsty was there to, to do what she was supposed to, correct? Absolutely. How much are you helped by being a former player in these blocking schemes when you're calling things from the sidelines during a match? Um, I think it helps a lot, honestly, because it gives the it gives me a understanding of what they're actually seeing. Like as a right side, as an outside blocker, what do they have to basically control on their side and what they have to look at versus what we're just telling them to do in this scheme. Yeah. And when they don't listen to you in practice, do you remind them that you are the last person in NCAA history to get a quadruple <laughs> double and they have to? No, I don't. I don't I don't give them that one. <laughs> I think you should pull that out just every now and then. I'm just waiting for somebody to come take my record from our team. That'll be an exciting day. There you go. Well, thanks for joining us in the, in the film room, Coach. Hope to see you again. Thanks.